Hello everyone, welcome back to the Figure Pit channel, and welcome to the Void. A dark place where I will be filming a few videos for you. Doing these ones from home, just because of all the COVID madness outside the front door. Gotta play it safe and do as many of these videos as I can from my own place of dwelling. And then I do have to actually head over to Figure Pit HQ in the next few days to film all the new stock we're about to receive. Some really cool stuff incoming, guys, so I'll be bringing you videos on that too. But shooting this one from home, so I'm going to be using my Hot Toys comic concept Wonder Woman figure from Justice League. We are selling this figure on our website at www.thefigurepit.com. Come check us out. And uh, But thing to bear in mind, the one I'm showing you right now is my one. This is not the actual one you'll be buying on the website, but they're identical. They're the same condition. They're both mint condition. Uh, so I'm doing this one from home using my one rather than taking any risks. Right. So hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop a like on it. Don't forget to do that. It's important. Right. And here she is out of the box, folks. A truly majestic and stunning piece. One six scale art in its finest form. Check out the colors. Check out the gold armor, just the light just bouncing off it, just nice. And the uh, the whip there, Lasso of Truth. That got a bit of a workout in the latest film, Wonder Woman 84. We won't say too much about that, but look at the shield as it comes around there. Absolutely stunning detail and paintwork. The sword piece of art in itself with the scribe running up the actual shaft of the blade and the stars on the little skirt uh, they're kind of harking back to the days of Linda Carter and I uh, wonder if Hot Toys will ever bust out a Linda figure uh, that's uh, certainly something people would like to see rooted hair on this one I've managed to tame it myself using a variety of you know products and you know various levels of um, patience but for future Hot Toys releases, I think Hot Toys are going to be going with sculpted hair. They certainly will be for the Wonder Woman 84 figure. So, uh, looking forward to seeing one with sculpted hair for a change. Don't know how many they've made now. Let's see, you had the uh, Dawn of Justice version. You had the regular Justice League version. This version of the Justice League version. The training version. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. That's four versions. Um, so we've got a fifth version coming, or possibly a sixth, if I'm missing one. Uh, let's zoom in and take a closer look. take a moment to appreciate the armor itself very very vibrant version this this is probably the most vibrant wonder woman we currently have the choice of buying from hot toys now the wonder woman 84 version that's hella vibrant too but i don't think this is going to be topped in the vibrancy department those uh, added stars on the skirt there really add a certain something to this piece the gold just complementing the red the blues the silver i can't say enough good things about it folks the shield beautiful absolutely and the body uh, just a truly excellent sculpt just the muscle tone on this thing absolutely excellent work now just give you a little close-up on the sculpt itself beautiful work on the eyes the hair on this one is much darker than any other version hot toys have made as well this is pretty much jet black hair compared to the lighter brown from the other releases let's have a little pan down here to the armor again nice and close up But an absolutely beautiful sculpt. Beautiful paintwork on that. There's the tiara as well. That's pretty vibrant on this version. Everything is. A little bit of extra oomph given to every little detail. And then there's the boots. Don't get me started on those. They're sick. Absolutely awesome. Nice base as well. You gotta love the base with this release. Really, really beautiful colours on that. Posability-wise, she can certainly do a lot, but I wouldn't leave her like this 
for too long. The nature of these bodies just kind of... Your gut instinct tells you probably best not go for anything too dynamic for a long-term display. Just do it so you can take your pictures and then maybe find something a little bit more museum pose like until, you know, a couple of years pass when we really know whether these bodies hold up. They're certainly tough though. I mean, they're a lot thicker. The skin on these is so much tougher than a fire body and I have plenty of those. So, very forgiving. I've had no troubles with these bodies so far and I've owned three different versions of Wonder Woman now by Hot Toys. So just be careful, but incredibly realistic looking. Very sturdy feeling. I'll wrap it up on a simple pose like this because it's just absolutely stunning in this pose. I don't really need me to say anything else. I think that will pretty much sell itself. So remember folks, the one you're looking at right here is my one. We have one just like it for sale on our website at www.thefigurepit.com. Beautiful piece, man. Absolutely love this one. Highly recommended from me. So drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Come check me out on my channel at dnight 333 as well. And I hope you guys are keeping safe and well. And got plenty more videos coming up on the channel real soon. Some really special stuff. So keep it locked. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye. <laughs>